All right, so I slept with one last pillow, one less pillow last night, and that helped. I don't feel as sore this morning. Oh, there you go, JJ. Yeah, I don't feel as sore this morning, which is great. Yeah, it's like o'clock or something so I still only I still have like three hours left where I can just sleep or lay down I'm not going to take too long I need a glass of milk hopefully this milk isn't bad we shall see we shall see well this is April 1st so who knows Glass of milk, I need you. I'm thirsty and only a glass of milk. I have a thirst that only a glass of milk. Milk, milk, milk. Glass of milk can can uh, quench. And hopefully the milk is not bad. Please don't be bad milk. Well, not really. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad, but it's definitely not good. So, at least it wasn't like half a gallon like it was last time. See, not that much left. I'm gonna need to drink more milk because this wasting milk business. This wasting milk business is for the birds or the cows. Or whoever wastes milk. It's not good. I don't want to waste milk. Alright, well anyways. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'll talk to you later. What is that noise? A baby? Could be a baby. Probably a baby. It sounds like a goat. But I'm pretty sure it's a baby. Ah. Uh, another beautiful day that I don't get to enjoy wonderful I was just thinking what would it take for me to quit my job money it would have to take money because I would need to be able to live and in order to live you need money you know I've got bills to pay and all that kind of stuff So you can't live in a house unless it's paid for and even then you still got to have money to pay for electricity and pay for uh, water and gas, all that kind of stuff. You got to be able to buy food, you know. And then I would wonder, what would I do with my time? What would I do with my time if I did not have a job? But then I'm like, well, I would record a lot more. I would be doing things other than sitting on my butt listening to people complain or whatever. They're not complaining. I'm complaining. I need to do my hair. So why am I in the kitchen? I don't know. I can't do my hair in the kitchen. Well, I could, but it would be gross and dirty because my kitchen is gross and dirty. And it needs to be cleaned. I asked Russ. Uh, I asked Russ last night. I said, it would be really nice if you could help me this spring or summertime clear off these rocks in the front yard. Please. <laughs> and he said... He said he would, 
but we'll see because I asked him last year to help me and he did not help me. And I asked him to help with yard work. He has not helped me with yard work. He has said he will do these things. And I hate when people don't do what they say they're gonna do. I gotta clear out this brush. I have hair in the brush. It's a lot easier to clear out when the brush is dry. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get my hair done. I gotta do that now. So I'll stop talking. My hair is fluffy because I haven't put any product in it yet. I will do that later. I don't feel like doing it now. I don't feel like it. These dishes need to be put away. I don't want to do anything of dishes. What I will do is make myself a chicken. I make myself a chicken practically every day because that's what we have to eat and also uh, I want it. I need two hands. Oh wait, maybe I don't. Do I need two hands? No. I don't need two hands. Ah. Yesterday I made two chickens. We didn't have very big pieces of chicken. At least not that I pulled out anyway. It's I say a whole, it's not a whole chicken, it's a chicken breast. Dang. Alright, so now let's put that on the medium. Oh, I'm not sure what I want to season it with, so I'll just let it cook. And I'm going to go sit outside because inside is pretty chilly. I'm chilly yesterday, or last night rather. It was warm enough to open the window upstairs in the bedroom. Look at that. Oh, um, yeah, so, and Russ opened the window, I'm like, are you going to turn the heat off? Because <laughs> that, you'd waste a lot of energy if you're going to have the window open and have the heat on. That's pointless. Don't do that. So we turned the heat off last night. Awesome. So now I'm going to go sit outside. Sometimes after washing my hands from coming out of the bathroom, I like to use my hair as a towel. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was finishing up the dishes. I emptied it. it. Took me like less than five minutes to empty the dishwasher. So I did that. I might as well fill it up again. Now I gotta refill my water. Up, JJ. You hungry? You think she's hungry or something? Up, JJ. Are you hungry or something? You want that food? Is that what you want? I swear you're jumping higher and higher. Like every day. You want the food? You want the food? Are you sure? JJ's hungry. You want the food, JJ? It's torment. Oh, give me the food. Give me the food. Hi. Hey. What you barking at for? Don't bark at me. Stop it. Do you want this food? <coughs> no. Sit. Stay. Stay. <coughs> Sit. Stay. <sighs> you want the food? You hungry? Eat. Yes. There you go. You have to take time to eat because you can't get your nose in the little cracks and stuff. Hey, here we go. I did it. Yay. I'm gonna figure out what to do for supper. You know what? I know what to do for supper. I have a leftover burger from Sunday. Burger and fries it is. Burger and fries. Some like blue cheeseburger or something. 
Only took two bites out of it. All right, burger and fries for me. Okay, bye. Oh, jeez. Santa Clarita diet is addicting. Yeah, I don't want to stop watching it, but it'll be nine o'clock in. I don't know. Sometime it'll be nine o'clock. I'm. I, I am catching up because it's. I'm on the season three. Episode four or five, I forget, but uh, hopefully it'll be you know caught up soon. So I'm gonna watch this. Okay. Good evening. It's bedtime. It's past the time that I had anticipated going to bed. But you know what? Santa Clarita Diet is just that good. So I was watching the last of it. Well, or not last of it, the whatever episode I was on. Um, it was the episode where... Uh, I'm really terrible with names and I can't remember them right now. This is Joel is the husband and the wife of Joel is the name I can't remember at the moment. But the zombie wife convinced the guy who was going to kill her not to kill her took his crossbow uh, i wish i could remember her name at the moment with drew barrymore's character but anyways uh, ow. um good show i enjoy this show because i'm wondering what if that was reality you know makes you think what if that really was somebody's actual life and it makes me also think, can you justify killing people? You know, like she killed Nazis, which obviously Nazis are terrible, but is it justifiable to kill them so that you can eat their flesh? You know what I am glad though, that they're not from, they're not like uh, I zombie. Oh, I forget that. Uh, well, I don't remember what what channel it's on, but um, I Zombie, the girl eats the brains. Um, these zombies, Santa Clarita, she she eats brains, but she also eats like the, all the whole flesh and stuff. So it's a mix between the Walking Dead zombies who eat all the flesh, for, and uh, you know the I Zombie, who's like coherent as to what she's doing, but she doesn't take the memories or she doesn't become that person's brain you know what I mean anyway uh it's bedtime so I'm gonna go to bed have yourself a good night we'll see you tomorrow toodles